Okay, hello everybody. I just wanted to jump on tonight. I was going through some things, you know, clearing out some things um, for the new year. Just, just, just straightening up, getting rid of some papers and stuff. But anyway, I found something, and I do like to keep my notes. I like to keep uh, things on on that others have, uh, you know, written about the Lord and to share. Because sometimes you never know what somebody's going through or and you know, something that I can change to remind myself about, about our Lord and about the Bible, about the His words. So this right here I found, and it was written by Aaron Jeffries, and it's called he is okay it's called he is and it's by aaron jeffries and this is what it says so the books of the bible and it says in genesis he's the breath of life in exodus the passover lamb in leviticus he's our high priest numbers the fire by night deuteronomy He's Moses' voice. In Joshua, he is salvation's choice. Judges, lawgiver. In Ruth, the king's man redeemer. First and second Samuel, our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicle, he's sovereign. Ezra, true and faithful scribe. Nehemiah. He's the rebuilder of broken walls and lives. In Esther, he's a Mordecai, he's Mordecai's courage. In Job, the timeless redeemer. In Psalm, he is our morning song. In Proverbs, wisdom's cry. As Ecclesiastes, the time and season. In the Song of Solomon. He is the lover's dream. He is. He is. He is. In, Je in Isaiah, he's Prince of Peace. Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. Excuse me, the weeping prophets. In Limitations, the cry for Israel. Ezekiel, he's the call from sin. In Daniel, the stranger in the fire. In Hosea, he is forever faithful. In Joel, he's the spirit's power. In Amos, the arms that carry us. In Obadiah, he's the Lord our Savior. In Jonah, he's the great missionary. In Micah, the promise of peace. In Nahum, he is our strength and our shield. In Habakkuk and Zephaniah, he's pleading for revival. In Haggai, he restores a lost heritage. In Zechariah, our fountain. In Malachi, he is the son of righteousness, rising with healing in his wings. He is, he is, he is. In Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He is God, man, Messiah. In the book of Acts, he is fire from heaven. In Romans, he's the grace of God. In Corinthians, he's the power of love. In Galatians, he is freedom from the curse of sin. Ephesians, our glorious treasure. Philippians, the servant's heart. In Colossians, he's the Godhead Trinity. Thessalonians, our coming king. In Timothy, Titus, Philemon, he's our mediator and our faithful pastor. In Hebrews, the everlasting covenant. In James, the one who heals the sick. In First and Second Peter, he is our shepherd. In John and in Jude, he is the over, excuse me, he is the lover coming from, okay, let me redo that. 
In John and in Jude, he is the lover coming for his bride. In the Revelations, he is King of kings and Lord of lords. He is, he is, he is the Prince of Peace, the Son of Man, the Lamb of God, the Great I Am. He is the Alpha and Omega, our God and our Savior. He is Jesus Christ the Lord, and when He and when time is no more. He is, and He is. Indeed, He is. He's all of that. So I just wanted to read that to you. God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful night. Happy New Year's to y'all because New Year's is coming up Sunday. Y'all have an exciting, adventurous, magnificent, and prophets. Did I say prophets? <laughs> Prosperity. A prosperous New Year, y'all. I get the word right. But have a, a, a wonderful New Year, you and your family. May God uh, continue to bless you. And may you have health and strength and sound mind. God bless y'all. Happy New Year's. Good night.